What's up guys, welcome back once again to the reviews. Today I'm going to be doing some testing and basically I got myself a 7900 XTX Red Devil from Power Colour um, a while back now, a couple of months ago. Uh, I've done a few tests on that, I've done a sort of review of it, unboxing, things like that. Now basically I want to test it against my old GPU which was my RTX 3080 as that was sort of one of the top end ones back then. And basically I feel like this is going to be uh, an upgrade path that a lot of people might might take and obviously I've done it myself I want I had a 3080 I wanted to improve I didn't want to spend and uh, didn't quite want to spend 4080 prices and obviously they've got less VRAM um, and I didn't, definitely didn't want to spend 4090 prices and um, so I went for the 7900 XTX and um, I watched quite a few videos and reviews of it and um, before I made my decision on what I was going to do so I got the Red Devil so today basically what I'm going to do is test them against each other uh, 3080 versus the 7900 XTX in multiple resolutions and show you what the uplift is in um, in gaming performance so you can decide whether it is a move you want to make yourself. So I'm going to get straight into the benchmarks uh, and then a little discussion at the end to basically talk about the results and I'll put some graphs up as well for you to see so you get a good overall understanding of basically the difference between the two. Um, so stick with me guys and let's get into those benchmarks. Right, so testing is complete. You've seen the benchmarks, you've seen the graphs uh, to show you the uplift in performance from the 3080 fan position to the 7900 XTX Red Devil. Obviously, the Red Devil is a higher clocked version than a standard 7900 XTX, um, so if you had a higher clock version of 3080, difference would be a little bit smaller, but not massively. It is a 3080 10 gig, by the way, not the 12 gig, um, which does perform a little bit better. Um, so you've seen everything, I've shown you the graphs of all the results, I just want to quickly talk through the percentage uplift um, because it's absolutely massive. Um, so I'm just going to look at the screen, I'll put the graph back up for you to uh, see again, let's just talk that through. Uh, so Hitman 3, 1080p, 54% uplift, 1440p, 43% uplift, Ultra Wide, which is a 5120 by 1440p, 37% uplift, F1 2022, 25% uplift on 1080p. 42% on 1440p and 53% on ultra wide. Shadow of the Tomb Raider 29% on 1080p, 50% on 1440p, 52% on ultra wide. Uh, Metro Exodus 
37% 1080p, 42% 1440p and 51% ultra wide and then down to dying light which is 28% 1080p, 36% 1440p and 49% in the ultra wide. And then onto the one synthetic test that I ran which was Time Spy, uh, the standard setting which is 1440p, um, standard settings basically, default, uh, no custom added there at all and the uplift was 72% um, absolutely huge it went from like 17,000 to 30,000 um, so as you can see absolutely massive increase um, so overall guys if you're looking at going from a 3080 up to a 7900 XTX I was skeptical at the time I looked at videos and I could see that there was big differences in some of it and I was like am I really going to get that and I took the plunge in the end and from looking at these results i'm actually really glad i did especially with me running an ultra wide um the reason i run ultra wide settings on this is because i don't have a 4k monitor just to let you know and uh, that's the closest i can get to 4k it gives you a sort of rough idea as 4k is only a little bit more in terms of the pixels than an ultra wide like this which is 5120 by 1440 so if you like i say if you're looking at going from a 3080 up to a 7900 xtx and you don't mind spending that kind of money it is a lot of money i understand that you are getting a massive massive increase um, it is for the Red Devils and against the 3080 in terms of the MSRP is pretty much double the price. <laughs> so you're paying 100% more or almost um, and you're getting a maximum of 70% better. So it doesn't sound great when you say that um, but that's kind of the story across the board of most of the new GPUs at the moment. Um, however it is a significant uplift and a massive uplift for me and I'm really glad I did it. It's an absolute great graphics card. Um, I've not done any ray tracing testing. Um, I might do that in a future video. Let me know in the comment section below if you do want to see that, and I can do that. Um, I've got a video coming up about FSR as well, so stay tuned for that. Click that bell icon and don't forget to subscribe. Uh, and that's it, guys. Thank you for watching. Um, please like it if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't, and like I said, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and comments are always welcome. Thanks for watching, guys. Goodbye.